not going to the Canaries. <laughs> Okay, welcome mate, good to see ya. Yeah, yeah. You're looking good. <laughs> you gotta you gotta you're gonna have to leave the port and go round it all the way. Okay? Then when you get around you drop your head sail. Yeah. All a bit crazy. Okay. Gently, gently. So uh, Gregor's now arrived. We've just uh, zipped over from um, zipped over from uh, seeing Tapio, and he's now about a uh, half a mile from the boy. About half a mile. Um, so we're just grabbing some bits here. He's moving quite well, but now there's a little bit less breeze. bit less breeze. support crew, Lionel driving aid, uh, Jane, me, Christoph, uh, all waiting for boats to come through. So we're, um, oh there's another boat coming up the rear but it's not one of ours. And uh, where are we going? We should maybe head back now, head back on him. We should head back on him while he's sailing. Go back there. Yeah, just to get some shots of him while he's sailing there. Just do a loop around. You just want to get some sailing shots. Before he stops sailing. In a minute we're going to... Uh... Okay. Yeah, we want to stay on this side and stay on this side. So, Biscay 36 got a hydrovane wind vane and uh, he's also got a Watton Sea wind generator. Um, everything flying, good luck to the Irish. Handley en Energy is his sponsor, he just picked up very quickly, uh, uh, very shortly before departure, so he's quite happy about that. And he seems pretty happy, but um, certainly the boat's well prepared. Very much a Southern Ocean boat, catch rig, able to do, you know, put a lot of sail up in certain conditions, and they've been working hard to uh, keep up with everything. It's got that big line shackled on on the port side there, uh, on the transom. That's for his uh, drogues and so on. So we'll do the interview once you drop your sails. <laughs> but yeah, looking quite nice there. Yeah. 
he's going to be coming around in a minute. So um, we're just coming up to the buoy. He'll sail around it, and then he'll get rid of his sails. So all oh, very good. Yeah, good breeze. You'll see he's got two furling systems. He's got a light head sail, probably a number one that's there now. That's right on the stem, and then he's got another uh, heavier number two inside that and that means he's um, uh, not too worried about going up and dragging too many sails around quite an efficient system great for twins as well you would have seen uh, that big twin head sail that Mark Slats had uh, he's got to hank that on the um, on the force day which is all good very light material but you can do something similar with this with two sails and, and uh, one pole pulling one sail out to windward and the other other side is loose luft so here he comes now he's going to uh, charge around here and uh, uh, do the big the big drop yep okay yep he's gonna attack now where's he going hey you can come around here where's he going <laughs> he's going he's going <laughs> hey? I'm not sure what he's doing. He should have just charged around there. <laughs> oh, he's on the wind vane. There you go. So, um... Okay. So... I can imagine what his support crew is saying. They say, come on, you're wasting time. Get, get, get around and get it back on course again. So the course out of here is pretty much downwind once they get clear. So um, so that's kind of good. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, you see the prop spinning there on the wind generator, on the water generator rather. See the prop underwater there, spinning around. Doesn't take much to get it going. Get this yeah. <laughs> okay. Well done. How come there's no green T-shirt then? <laughs> I hope you had a shower this morning. Brush your hair, clean your teeth. You know all that stuff. <laughs> oh, good to see you. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, we need a time, so uh, 10 past. Uh, you've got to stay like that for 20 minutes now, so 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It'll seem like forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so um, uh, Susie came through this morning about 6 o'clock, and uh, then Uku was about uh, two hours behind, and uh, Philippe Pesh was the first one through, about uh, 10 o'clock yesterday, but he missed the lighthouse, kept going. He completely, he completely missed it and ended up at the other island and had to come back to windward. Lost about four hours. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you can hold your course. If you can hand steer, you can hold your course while you're doing this. Yeah, you can get on course and go down. You don't have to stop. You can just reduce sail. I thought I'd let you know before you waste another five minutes. I've got a direct hotline to your support crew. They're saying, what are you doing, Gregor? Get going. <laughs> yeah, you can sail on course with reduced sail. So, uh, yeah. It's not going to be fast, though. So, yeah, so... Um, uh, and Uku's just coming around the corner. You're probably... I mean, Igor. Yeah, in fact, I thought that yacht was him, but it's not. So, uh, he went the long way yeah, he went the other side. Yeah, yeah you, you know, the Russians want to stay out of the east, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, we thought you were going to have a head on head, on head um, around here, but it, it wasn't him. So anyway, all good. Yeah, yeah. So you're happy with the boat? Yeah, yeah, very happy. You didn't think by an airport, Yeah. 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 That's cool. <laughs> so have you damaged any sails yet? No, no. Oh, that's good. No, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, and so you're good? Yeah, yeah. Happy? Yeah, you get, happy yeah. Getting into it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Took a week, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. No, all good. Um, and uh, how's the food department? Right, yeah. Eating loads, eating like a king. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fresh food. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, and so all your fresh food is nearly gone. You've only been gone for 10 days. Uh, yeah, I didn't bring that much. <laughs> That's cool. More, more storage problems, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so your bunk's still dry? Uh, your bunk? Oh, yeah, sure. So no leaks? No, no, no. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. Been a tough trip, eh? <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Maybe there's some currents between the place. Maybe there's some currents between there. Yeah, yeah. So you got good weather coming, you know, like as in, you know, still big following northerly, so so you get a big kick south. So you psyched up for the uh, for the equator and stuff? Ah uh, yeah, I think I think I know what plan, but that'll change for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll see what you're up to. <laughs> yeah, right. So your your HF radio's okay? Yeah, seems to be working fine, yeah. You're on the chat sessions? Yeah. 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 No okay. matter to it. Yeah. I was supposed to do my Iridium call today at half nine, but I didn't find it. <laughs> I hope that's alright. That's alright, yeah. We're a little bit flexible, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> So everyone's, uh, we put the tweets up and the, the phone calls are up as well. A lot of people following. So uh, they really like the little grabs, you know. So, yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, very good. And um, Susie uh, is good. You know, she was saying she's uh, surprised how much battery, how much electricity she's using. You know, she, yeah, yeah, she's using her HF a lot, you know. So. More, more than I know what to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burp, burp. Back away, here we go, perfect. Well, I've got this yoke here and that's Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And even, I only have that down for a little bit of a day, the solar panels. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I've got, I've used my HF a fair bit, but not a, a huge amount of disposable. Yeah. 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 Okay. And um, how about your navigation? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I got away without doing uh, any celestial for about a week and a bit. You're not alone. Everyone was looking for ships. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I'd like to do a few, but that, it seems to be working okay, so that's good. Well, there's nothing to hit now, you just go a long way south and turn yeah. left. <laughs> sure, it's a fiddly bit, it's like trying to hit islands, or not yeah. to hit islands, but the rest of it's easy. <laughs> well, we just got to make sure you know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So how's the rigs? Right, yeah. yeah, they look good. Yeah, yeah, look good. So, And you don't look that heavy, actually. It's, the boat seems to be quite yeah. comfortable. Oh yeah, you're heavy, but, it, but the boat looks able to take it, you know, like... Yeah, well, it's, uh, yep. that's one of the reasons I went for it, because it does have quite a large sort of volume, but it can take a lot without actually affecting uh, it too much. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's actually quicker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot more sluggish. Next yeah. Still, not at its best, but I'm as quickly as I can, so... That's cool. Yeah. Well, you're making the miles, so that's all good. Yeah. yeah. So I suppose the big new experience will be water over the deck now. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Expect anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about the hydrovane? It's been all right. Not about it, too. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 No yeah. At all. That's cool. You know, some of the other lads have been having a bit of trouble with their self steering. Luckily, I'm not in that. Yeah, I think I think uh, part of that is they're driving the boats really hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. Yeah, makes sense. Well, it looks very good. Very good. Yeah. So, how's your water? You've been using up much water? No, not a whole lot. Um, about 10 litres every four days, which is too, it's actually not less than I thought. Um, 10 litres every four days? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. There's a lot of wet food at the moment, so that could be. Yeah. Yeah. And how about sleep? What's what's the pattern? What's the program? Uh, better. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't pleased with my exiting a biscuit, so I've been working 
Oh well, you've got to make the most of it for the next, uh, although the doldrums will be a pain in the butt. That's the, yeah, it's easier to get sleep in big winds rather than little winds. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh well. So do you want to speak in the old Irish tongue because you're going to have a lot of Irish people listening to this. We should get as close as we can and just give us some of that Irish music, you know, some of the Irish language. <laughs> oh, we'll give you five minutes to think about it. So. You'll have to shout it out. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> Bit of a jibe. You're going to go down on course. Ooh, whoop, 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 That's okay. That's okay. All good. All right. Just want to make sure we don't get. He's coming up. He's losing concentration while he's talking to me, and thinking about talking to the Irish. So um, gives him a chance to think a little bit more. So slowly but surely. He's got his, uh, all his cockpit gear is up there because he's come into contact with um, the shore and the rest of it. So uh, man overboard rescue slings, not for him if he falls over, but it's if something else happens and he needs to assist other people. So uh, the cockpit will probably be cleared later on. VHF. Because then you would be gone. Yeah. For a while. Show us the radio handset when you're doing it, when you're speaking, yeah, so we can see it. We need a couple of setup shots here for uh, future reference, um, talking on the radio. <laughs> so, um, it's starting to get a bit warm out here now. The breeze has sort of backed off to about uh, 15 knots and we're travelling downwind, so... Um, He's uh, concentrating on all sorts of things except sail trim right now. You can see he's set up for uh, port tack going to windward. In actual fact, the wind's right behind him. No, no finish. <laughs> yep, yep, that's okay. No, no. No, hang on. Wait one. The eagle is not coming, is he? Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, looking good. Looking good. Okay. Okay, we'll come back into speaking range. Yeah. So you got something for the Irish or what? Hang on. Okay, where you go? We said do not more than the the Ross, so so for for the I got I work hard on for me and my I can be Cool. Okay. <laughs> Is your tracking unit always like that, or is it just chipped over? Well, well, it just gets hits like that. It is, so okay, yeah. Just it remember, works. keep it flat because it's working. That's our tracking system for those who are looking at that little white hockey puck there, the white disc. That's the one that gives you the signals. Yeah, yeah. So it's still, you leave it like that and it still gives a signal out. Okay, we'll tell you if it doesn't get one, but it's tracking okay, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will. Bells and whistles will go off. <laughs> so your bottom looks pretty good. I mean, the boat bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. All right. Well, you got six. Sorry. What's the ranking? Uh, I should have bought the oh, list out. Five, Billy. Okay. Uh, so then, so there's you, and then there's Igor. Um, no. no, we talked about that. We've already done that. We're talking after that. So after that, it's Igor. Then uh, who's the next two down the line? 
tip. Abelash and Tommy. Oh, Abelash and Loik. Yeah, they're coming through. And then uh, then it's uh, uh, Nabil and um, Antoine. Nabil and Antoine are pretty yeah, close yeah, together. And then Istvan and uh, Kevin. But Kevin's just uh, decided he's coming in to look at the boat here as well. So An Antoine's coming in here to uh, Marina Rubicon to check out the boat. I don't know whether he's going to anchor out or whether he's going to go into the marina. He's having a, he's having a sort of thing, thing. Yeah, he's got a few bits and, uh, and Kevin's pretty much uh, doing the same. Okay. He's back there, he's got a few issues so he said he's looking at coming into the marina. We'll, uh, I mean coming in and then we'll just see what happens after that. Uh, we haven't heard from Urchin yet, you know, he pulled out for missing the family and uh, he'll surface shortly, I suppose, tell us how he's feeling. And uh, who else is there? All right, and then Francesco is uh, setting off on the 21st. So he's, he's not in the GGR anymore. Uh, he's not in Chichester class or anything, but we've sort of called him the Caruso sailor. So he'll go around, we'll leave him on the tracker and we'll, he may come up on the HF chat sessions, but he might be a bit far behind. But he's an independent sailor, yeah. But he put in a big effort, just didn't quite get there. Yeah, didn't quite get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got about four minutes to go. <laughs> no, anything you want to ask us? <laughs> Hey, did we get your films? Oh, no. oh yeah, we got to get the pole. Jeez, there's old things about getting the films and we haven't got them. <laughs> so we better get those. Wouldn't that be funny? We say goodbye and they say, oops, we forgot to get the films. Okay. So this is for you guys? Uh, yeah. That's for Neil. Yep, okay. Cool, thanks, mate. Good. Okay. Oops, there you go. Radio, all good, all good. So what were you saying? You've been playing soccer on board. Uh, that's Wilson. Oh, you've got an actual Wilson. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeepers. <laughs> okay. Yep. How's your... Uh, the World Cup. What's the latest on the World Cup? The France. Uh, between Croatia and France. For the final. Really? Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, I can't say, to be honest. <laughs> Who England beat England? Was before. Huh? Was before. Croatia. Croatia beat England. Croatia. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Croatia beat England. Croatia, England, 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. Croatia beat England. Croatia beat England. I would say France. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sorry? No, he's coming around the other side, but I haven't seen him come around the headland yet. But, um, we talked uh, yes, talk with him already. Yeah, we spoke to him on the radio. We, we, we thought it was him. Yeah, otherwise we... Uh, anyway, that's cool. Whoops, easy. That's all good. So, you've been listen, listening to any music? Um, yeah, uh, there you go. Yeah, a mate of mine's given me a... Give Igor a call. Yeah. Let's see, Igor. Okay. Yeah, so Igor's coming around the back road. So, um, so is your radio receiver working? I thought you'd be listening to BBC World Service. Oh, cool. Too busy. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> busy days, eh? Oh well, don't worry. There's still another seven or eight months to go. She'll be fine. <laughs> so, what are you missing most? Nothing yet. Eh? Nothing yet. Nothing. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you you can um, you've got basically uh, about one minute to go, and you can hoist sail again. So, 
So we'll um, we'll look forward to seeing you in Hobart, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we'll be uh, we'll be sitting there in the background 24 hours a day. You know that. Did you get like a position before? Have you made it through a yacht to get that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we got them through. No problem. Well, you still you still need to try and do it with HF because they only count when they're via HF. So you did that via VH, but you did it by radio, right? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but ideally later on you'll find it has to be HF if you can. Yeah, just yeah, but we got it, no problem. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you can you can set. Yeah, we. Yeah, I mean. We're a bit slack, we only want to get the bad boys, you know. <laughs> so, that's alright, Greg is talking about a uh, compulsory HF radio checks they've got to do. Um, all part of the fun of uh, maintaining safety watch. HF radios and stuff. So, all good. Okay, well good to see you. And uh, I don't know what's happening with the weather, you're in a bit of a wind shadow now, but it's pleasant anyway. And uh, if it's any if it's any different, Susie went that way. <laughs> Susie went that way. No, actually, um, uh, our wig went that side. Everyone else has gone the other side. Yeah, it's up to you. You know, so yeah. But anyway, there's going to be some good uh, good following breezes for quite a few days, so you'll get a bit of a kick on that. You know, yeah, quite pleasant. Make the most of it, and then we'll hear about the stories of the Southern Ocean. You ready for the Southern Ocean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So uh, have fun, eh? So get your sails going. We'll hang on while you get your sails set just so we can look at all the mistakes you make. <laughs> okay. So, Gregor is looking pretty good. In five, in five minutes, he's rounding the capital. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we might head down there, eh? All right, Gregor, we're going to leave you with it because Igor's coming around the corner. Okay, cool. He's sort of got the scent of the Irish. He's after you, you know? <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll bid you a fond farewell and good luck. Okay. Looking good. Okay, we can head out now. We'll head over to Igor. Okay, Jean Jean, we can shut this down. See you later, everybody. The next one will be probably in about uh, 15, 20 minutes with Igor, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. So um, we'll play it by ear. Uh,